Hi. Welcome, everybody. You've caught me mid-hair tossle. One moment, please. Anywho, <laughs> welcome to the X-Ray and Bev stream. at 6 o'clock. This is uh, the cast and crew of X-Ray and Bev. We have a couple people missing, as you might see. Gavin is on set right now, unfortunately. And Jordan is in Australia, but we're going to try and get him in to help out. But this is the group of people who are responsible for X-Ray and Bev. So huge thank you very much, everyone, for being here. Appreciate it. I'm glad we can finally show off everyone who's worked so hard to make this a reality. <laughs> thank you very much. But uh, yeah, let's get started. We just came to hang out with you guys, audience. So ask questions. Barbara's watching the chat. If you want to use hashtag X Ray and Vav, that's A and D. A and D. Yes, yeah. all the above. Yes. Yes. <laughs> X R A Y A N D V A V. Yes. With a hashtag. Not the. Not the symbol. Not the ampersand. Which name always so scares me. Yeah. Ampersands don't work in hashtags. All right. So. Uh, sorry. We're fucked. Have you even been, been on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming, everybody. How's your day uh, going? Thanks for having us. It's all right. Good. Absolutely. All right, good. Glad Sardines. <laughs> Ray's still it's traumatized. Awful. People who aren't sponsors won't know what you're talking about. They until will tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Sardines. You're like the aliens guy. Yeah. So you want to go through everybody? Yes, please. Uh, I mean, you know me. I'm Lindsay. Hi. Hi, Lindsay. Yeah, hey, what is your role? <laughs> <laughs> you say your role on a train Uh I do a couple things. I came up with the concept for the show originally, and that was back when it was just a one-off RTAA thing, mm -hmm. and then we created you know, what it is now. Uh, I'm a co-writer and co-director with Jordan as well. Yeah. yeah. Busy. Yes. <laughs> Maggie. Keep my schedule Maggie. Oh, hi. I'm Maggie. I'm the production coordinator. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can I boost that mic, please? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Dustin. I'm an animator on the show. I'm Ray. I created X-Ray on accident. <laughs> uh, I'm Barbara. I'm the community manager at Rooster Teeth, and maybe more to come with X-Ray and Bev. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Bev. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joel. I'm an animator. Animator and closer to the mic. Yeah. You can lean over if you need to. Lean on me. I'm Ian. I'm another animator. <laughs> I'm also an animator. My name is Sean. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for repping our merch, Sean. I'm Jeff. I'm a technical director. <laughs> and I'm Pat. I do a lot of things. A lot of the art things. That's pretty much it. You made those posters. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. He's going to pretend to be Peter. He draws good. Oh, wait. I'll be, I changed my name. It's Peter. <laughs> Everyone I'm Peter. Is Peter. I'm the lead animator. Yeah. Um, so. Does that mean I get to be Gray? Peter? Yes. Well, Gray. Even though Gray is right Gray's off stage uh, right now. Uh, Short-lived. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, who is another animator, is responsible for uh, a lot of the animation that you've seen in the trailer as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, he couldn't be here right now, but send him your hellos and thank yous. He's a good man. Yeah, there's a couple people who are missing mm -hmm. right now from the stream. Do you want to give them Probably still working. Yeah. yeah. On X-Ray and Bev. It's true. Dude, I'm next sorry. week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool yeah, we also have uh, Daniel Fabello and Clayton DeWitt working. Sound. Um, yeah. yeah. Clayton's and actually Clayton's working sound right there. now. <laughs> I heard that whistle. Yeah, he, he waved. You couldn't see it, but I promise you he did. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's Clayton. That's Cole. Cole doesn't yeah, shot Cole. <laughs> Dude, next week. My family's like super excited. We're like, we're gonna eat Thanksgiving dinner and then like watch it. I'm like, oh god, please. <laughs> Based on a joke you made in a guide. Well, two I'm years old. I'm actually not old. even going home for Thanksgiving, but like I'll have to like tell my family, like, okay, this is why. Yeah. Go, go watch this. Please thing. watch this. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's fault. That's how intense <laughs> you guys are too. Yeah. We've got, we've got Great. Jordan Hedrum here. We have oh. Mr. Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. yeah. So we were trying to get a Skype connection going. Uh, it's not quite working. So instead, we've got him right here. We turned Jordan into a computer. Yeah. Oh, he's hi, Jordan. Do it. Hold. Hey, buddy. He's so cute. Yay. He's so tiny. Say something, Jordan. <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> hello, everybody. Hey. 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 Jordan says hello. It's like a 15-second <laughs> delay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jordan, as you guys probably know, is a co-writer and co-director along with me. And he, you know, he's all about the RTAA, so he was originally the one to kind of make this start. Trying to get the I ball like how you're holding him like a doll. I know. <laughs> I want to put him in my lap. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's awesome. Oh so shit, weird. Jordan, you got to upgrade. Oh, <laughs> or downgraded, depending how you look at it. Gracie. That's Grace's chair, <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grace. Nice. Here you go. Hey, get the fuck out of here, Grace. <laughs> so. Welcome. How's and Gray, doing? introduce yourself, please. Since Hi, uh, Gray, producer and, and wear of many hats uh, here in the animation department. Yeah. Yes. Busy guy, Gray. Basically, badass extraordinaire. Yeah. Take, taking care of everything. Absolutely. That we need. 
So we made it all the way around, everyone's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You are the last but not least. Uh, <laughs> it's the most important. Best for last, right? True. Yeah, yeah. So I we have Jordan beat you in Australia. A bunch of questions from Twitter. And if again, if you want to tweet us any questions, you could use the hashtag X-ray and Vav. And it's spelled out A and D, not the ampersand sign. Uh, so first question is from Patrick. Not this Patrick. And he says, <laughs> where did the notion go from two achievement hunters faffing about to, hey, let's do a show? Lindsay? Well? Uh, repeat the Jordan, uh, question for Jordan. Yeah. Hey, Jordan. They were asking about uh, where the notion for X-Ray and Vav went from a joke in Achievement Hunter to an actual full-fledged show. So I don't know if you had anything to input into that. <laughs> uh, I could try to answer that. I mean, it had been a joke for a while, and then... Uh, uh, in the midst of making RTA 100, I wanted to come up with other ideas for scripted stuff for RTAA, and uh, you came up with the ideas like, let's make uh, X-Ray and Vav into a, a dumb show, and originally it was going to be an RTAA concept, exactly, and a dumb it, show. Uh, it just it evolved into uh, good art done by Patrick and, and good animation done by Peter, and now everybody, so yeah, we've got this whole show now. Yeah, basically. It started as a one-off RTA, because Jordan's done uh, other one-offs as well that you've seen, like Us's Dream is a big one. But he said, we need an idea, what do you have in, in mind? And I said, what if X-Ray and Vav finally had their adventure? What if they finally fought crime? So it went from what would be a one-off RTA in the same style to this whole huge show production now with a different art style and all this crazy animation and, you know, it's huge. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It's a lot better now than... What it, what it <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing, right? Like, it was a one-off thing, and then Patrick made the shirt, like, months later, and I thought, like, that was it, and then fast-forward to now. It's a whole oh, yeah. big thing. Patrick's responsible for the entire yeah. look of X-Ray and It's been, like, Beth. a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We're yep. so sick of hearing you. I'm so sorry. Uh, this, this question is from at Ruby Rogue. Uh, on average, how many dong touches will there be per episode? Yeah. Ooh, how many dong touches per episode, Jordan? <laughs> Uh, right now, I think we're averaging about one, at least. It's true. We, gotta, we have at least, you know, an obligation to do one. Yeah, I think at least one per episode. I can think of one episode where there's three. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Overboard. It's multiple dick touches. I like the comparison someone made, too, of the Awu, where you and Gavin do that, which oh, is where yeah. we pulled it from, as well. Uh, it's like in the show and you guys dick touching and transforming it's yeah. like reality and just you hitting each other and then we're like over. thrusting and we get closer and we just get too close and we just fucking mash our testicles together and we go on the ground so a lot of a lot of real life dick touching but only one yeah. in the show we actually motion capped them for the yeah. entire sequence for that yeah that's not true <laughs> don't get too excited don't ruin the illusion Lindsay <laughs> uh, what are the artistic inspirations for the show this might be a good question for all y'all how do you guys uh, the artistic inspirations. I mean, we watched a lot of uh, old 90s cartoons and stuff like that. So, like, a lot of the Genny Tartakovsky feel, like Dexter's Ooh. Lab, Samurai Jack, all that kind of good stuff. And I really, yeah, Pop of Girls and, you know, anything from that era. So I tried to make it, you know, as close to that as possible because it was just a fun look and I love I love the art style. So, yeah. So only 90s kids will get the show. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, nobody else will like it. Only 90s kids should get the show. Well, that's kind of what Jordan and I thought of as well. Like, I mean, Patrick had already created the style of X-Ray and Bev, so playing off of that as well, whenever we wanted to make it a show, we're like, oh, well, we grew up, you know, with these shows from the early 90s with Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Why not play to that and the things that we love and reminisce on? And maybe fans will get the same experience and be like, oh, yeah, I used to watch shows like this all the time, and now it feels like that, too. So I'm glad that we connected there. Thank you very much for the inspiration. Cool. Uh, I'll save that one for the end, actually. It's a good question for the end. Uh, 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 it was too good. Stop asking good questions. I just had a good one and I lost it. Oh God, God. damn it! So how I'm was, how failing. Was RTX and debuting it there. How did that go for you? That was pretty awesome. Oh yeah. I mean, Ray was there. Jordan, you were there for the I premiere at RTX. There. I was there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite a day. <laughs> <laughs> that morning, we, we put some finishing touches on it, and uh, we're like, here we go. I hope everyone likes it. Yeah, I mean, you guys were uh, you were animating up until like literally as the sun was coming up that morning, as I remember recall. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. I didn't. No. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> me neither. I just showed up. On it now. Peter still, mostly. Dan Daniel was still laying in sound effects. They were Shout out to Peter. Final just like hours before mm -hmm. the show. So. I hadn't seen any of the show too until we played at RTX, and I was like, I'm seeing this for the first time with everybody else. So let's uh, <laughs> strap in and see it. But people loved it. Yeah, it was fantastic to watch their reactions. They really drank it in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, question here from Andre St. Vlad. 
Uh, so the lads seem to get legit superpowers somehow. Is that going to be important to the show or just hey powers? Just hey powers? Like hey. Uh, like, hey you'll got powers see. Now. <laughs> you'll see? Okay. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. To be determined. <laughs> The lads, uh, the lads have always had an ability to overcome their obstacles. Let's lay it at that. You'll see. Yeah. It's a way to <laughs> nice way to put it. Yeah. Basically, uh, we have a bunch of questions uh, from various people asking how long the episodes will be and how many episodes there will be. Are we allowed to give that information? I think we can. Yeah, yeah sure. So um, uh, it kicks off Thanksgiving Day. This very first wave of episodes is going to run for four episodes, and then. We hope to do some more, but it, a lot of that is also going to be determined by how much everyone likes it. Viewers and, like you. Yeah. <laughs> watch and our you. show. But, but, but at the very least, from, from Thanksgiving till uh, the end of the year, there will be at, at least four episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you Do like it, we'll make more, and if you don't, we'll mm -hmm. just go away and cry. And average length, I think, is going to be like <laughs> seven to eight minutes. Occasionally, they hit close to ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. the longest the, episodes hit ten minutes. I think average is nine. Yeah. Average is nine minutes. Yeah. According to Jordan that. says average is nine. Uh, this one is from... The disembodied... Uh, yeah. <laughs> disembodied Jordan. Sexy head. Uh, Andrew <laughs> Russo asks, how many other RT crossovers do we expect to see for the series? If any. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit of a mix. I think Jordan would agree. But we tried to make it as appealing for people who have no idea what Rooster Teeth is or have no idea what Achievement Hunter is or X-Ray and Bab. So someone who's hopping into the series can still understand it and enjoy it, but then fans that we've had for years who understand Achievement Hunter, especially X-Ray and Bab, will, will love the references that we've made uh, and some, uh, some, of the, you know, some of the dynamics we bring in that you might recognize from other Let's Plays or things like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a little bit of both, basically. So 70. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so 70. 70, number. 30 percent. <laughs> yeah. 70. <laughs> uh, is the show going to be family friendly or are we going to see some dirty stuff? Oh, yeah, show your kids. Show your kids. Jordan. It's gonna be great Jordan for children. Rest, Jordan has powered down for a nap. <laughs> He's afraid of the answer. Uh, it's also gonna be a little bit of both. Yeah. It's definitely got the like we just talked about the '90s, uh, early Saturday morning cartoon humor of cheesiness. Yeah. But the yeah, yeah, along with that, yeah, there's the some adult humor. The hardcore sex scene in episode yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> the intense anal penetration. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we get our powers. Actually, there's definitely some adult <laughs> humor though. Yeah. So you know, I'd say maybe like PG-13. Someone said T for teen is a good rating. I'd say that T for teen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peggy 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I don't know if you guys covered it before. Uh, what was it like when Lindsay pitched to you guys? So yeah, we're, we're at, and, and Jordan came to you guys and said, "Guess what? We're gonna turn you guys." Uh, into well, originally, series. like it was supposed to be the the one-off thing, and I'm like. Okay, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. And then, like, a little bit later, uh, Lindsay came in, and she's like, yeah, we're going to do this whole series for, like, X-Ray and Bab. I'm like, yeah? This is one <laughs> joke we made in a guide, like, however long ago, and then we just have we just had the shirt at the time. That was literally it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Fuck it. And then it came down to, you know, when we started recording, I'm like, oh, oh, this is... This is good. You guys made this not shit. Good. I appreciate all the talented people. We did this thing called writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's crazy to think like this whole thing has spawned, like I said, from something so dumb as like Gavin messing up his mic test and calling me X-ray, yeah. and then it just spiraled out of control, and now there's an animated series. I was just glad how yeah. quickly you and Gavin were on board too. And I saw a couple people mention after they saw the trailer, they're like, oh, there's no way that Gavin and Ray would be interested in doing something like this. I'm like, yeah. there really would be no point. Also, if Ray like, who and Gavin else is gonna no. do do it? Yeah. Like, it's like our characters. Yeah. Let me hire some you actors do to play, play X-ray yeah. and Vav. <laughs> yeah. It's also um, been fun to kind of see X-ray and Vav show up in other places in the Rooster Teeth universe, yeah, yeah. whether it's the uh, the Ruby references with the uh, the comics and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, the poster and whatnot. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, the fans go nuts. Yeah, time. Uh, they like that stuff. Achievement Hunter it's 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 very surreal to think I'm going to be in a in a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. 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 so I'm, I'm excited. Cartoon. I am a cartoon. I think Speaking that's of the biggest excitement we have going into it too is we already know that the fan base loves X-Ray and Bev. So yeah. you know we can only acquire more fans for X-Ray and Bev. Bring them in. Yeah, all of them. I think it's like the first show that had cosplayers before the show came out. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys kind of planned the show for us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. This one is for Ray. Hey. Did you adopt a different persona to be X-ray, or have you, or have a process to get into character at all? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is the best part. Yeah, yeah, this is the best part. Uh, I'm X-ray, right? So it's just me. Uh, thankfully, like you know, I've I've hung out and talked to Lindsay enough and Jor and everybody that they know like my my personality and who I am and stuff like that. So reading the script, like I don't know how to voice act or whatever. I know how to read, and that's all I need to do for the script. <laughs> But uh, even still, like, it's hard sometimes to give, like, the right inflection or something when you just have to, like, read it. Like, in Let's Plays, I'll say something stupid, but that's as a result to, like, either something that's happening in front of me or what somebody said around me. 
But when you're in a booth and it's just like, you need to say this like this, it's like, ah, uh, it's just really difficult. But thankfully, there's no really like, I got to get into character. It's just like, I just got to be me and just talking to this mic and everything will be okay. Thankfully, yeah. Lindsay and Jordan were great, specifically Lindsay Thanks. helping me after like, Get shit on Jordan. After like, <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, Lindsay was there every single time, and Lin Jordan was Lindsay's there once. The actor director. Yeah. So after like I read something wrong ten times, she's like, "Asshole, read it like this," and she'll do me. She'll give me a read, and I'll be like, "Oh, okay," and then we'll progress. So that's been. Uh, she's been great easing me into the whole voice acting thing because I I know nothing about when we were, it. When we were trying to uh, build the characters, uh, we wanted to just like take parts of Ray's personality and like just like kind of exaggerate them, you know just take it to a little bit of a different level mm -hmm. and so yeah basically x-ray is just ray if he was a superhero yeah, yeah. so it's just me it's, real life. it's just yeah. me <laughs> <laughs> i have the costume jordan same with gavin i mean it's kind of like <laughs> it is in let's plays it's not technically just you guys i mean we heighten ourselves a little bit yeah for it's the sake of yeah. entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah so there's been heightened versions of gavin and ray but they're x-ray and bab mm -hmm. so actually we never mentioned that there's no ray or gavin it's just, just yeah. x-ray and bab yeah Thank God. Right, yeah. They don't have real identities. <laughs> that is a real identities. Yeah. So, we probably can't answer this, but a lot of people are asking if we're going to see any uh, Rooster Teeth personalities in the show as well, other than X Ray and Vev. So, I don't Joe know if the you cat want... is in episode one. It, okay. Um, yeah. That's it. It's also not true. <laughs> 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 I was like, really? Or just cat and spice, I'm just way I guess. too good at dead faces. Yeah, yeah you I are. Guess. It's like <laughs> freaky. I believed you. Sorry. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Okay. So stop asking that question. <laughs> Wade from Stranger Hoods in episode three. Look out for Wade. Don't, don't even. Oh God. <laughs> He's not in there. Please don't demand it. X-ray becomes Wade in episode three. That's the uh, Stranger Hood crossover. I was about to say it's the concept of yeah, yeah. Stranger Hood season yeah. two. Oh, that's it. It writes itself. It's pretty uh, this one's for the animators. What's your favorite part about making X-ray and Bev? Or Nothing. working on it? Hate it all. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Just on board, buddy. <laughs> you guys want to lean over. Um, <laughs> uh, my favorite part, I guess, is that um, normally when I work on shows here, I do like 3D animation, so it's fun to get to do something that's 2D. Spoiler, the show is 2D. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so, <laughs> <clears throat> so that's been a lot of fun, just trying out something new. Yeah. Hey, buddy, yeah. He's not an animator. Kind of like Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's why he's the animator. <laughs> I uh, kind of like what Justin said. It's really nice to work on an actual cartoon that's very cartoony instead of like a 3D animated thing that's kind of a split between realism and cartoons. So it's nice to kind of venture cool. out into that. It's cool to work on something that reminds you of stuff you watched when you were a kid. Yeah. 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 You know, in 3D stuff you don't get to exaggerate too much. <laughs> Clean, Clean to the, the rescue! rescue. Yay! Clean, Clean to the rescue. Rescue. podcast! This is the man who brings you the sound of X-ray and Beth. Woo! And pretty much everything that we do. I'm glad to hear it. Fixed I mean, it. You guys have mentioned it before, but especially with the animators that we've worked with, I've, every single one that we were talking to before, we're like, listen, we want to hone in on the 90s, you know, again, Saturday morning cartoon. Every single one was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's yeah, do that absolutely. thing. Yeah. Yes. So I'm glad that you guys were immediately on board for that. It reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. I no. Nice. I love it that way. A lot. Uh, will this show have an overarching plot? Or is each episode going to be an individual plot or a combination of both? Jordan, what's a plot? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Uh, this first batch of episodes kind of has a an arc to it. Yeah, uh, at, towards the end, it's definitely uh, one story uh, all culminating. And I think after this, we might get uh, more singular episode type, yeah. but maybe with an overarching story uh, uh, sprinkled throughout. Happen. <laughs> Hopefully. Watch it. Yes. If season two does happen, yeah, we've been talking about moving to a more episodic uh, series. But for season one, definitely, there's some episodic <coughs> moments, but an overall arc for the first season. Yeah, I like to think of it as uh, the whole establishing the world kind of story, you know? Yeah. Get to know people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, will there be a soundtrack eventually released, assuming the series spawns five to ten plus songs? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, uh, it's going to have an original <laughs> score. Um, it's being done by uh, Jeff Williams and Steve Goldsheen and Alex Abraham, who are the same guys who do all the music for Ruby. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, uh, Micah yeah. Reisinger. Yeah, for uh, the theme of the show. Yeah, yeah we've uh, relation to John. Yes. People thought so. that was Ryan. No, it is not. It's not Ryan. Ryan yeah. is not singing a theme song. It's not Sorry. Ryan. <laughs> 
Mike is a talented man, though, and he yes. turned back for us several times. We were, he was very receptive about our notes as well, and he worked with us making sure that we had absolutely what we wanted as the theme for X Ray and Bad, and now we have this wonderful conversation. That's awesome. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. Yeah, I like him more than John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, yeah, we got screwed on the Risingers. <laughs> was that Jordan? I said he's way more talented than yeah. John. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going for half an hour, right? Uh, yeah, we can go a little bit longer. So uh, there's about four minutes until 6.30. We are going to do a giveaway. Uh, we actually have two new posters in the store bam, for X-Ray and Bab. One's behind me over here, and then one is behind Lindsay and Gray over there. So uh, for the first poster, let's do that one. Both made by this guy, this handsome face right Patrick. there. Patrick! <laughs> I'm pointing at Ray. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. So uh, tweet us. We're going to do a trivia question, and I'm going to pick so the person who answers the question correctly at random. Uh, what was the achievement guide that X-Ray and Vav is from? I know. So tweet that to <laughs> <you>. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag X-Ray and Vav with the answer, and we will pick a winner at random. Do they need just the achievement or the game of the achievement, or what do they need? Uh, what the achievement guide was called, I guess. Okay, yeah. So just the name of the achievement. Yeah. Which I don't know it, so I'll have to ask Ray. <laughs> Ray well, <Carol>. then. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pull up all YouTube. Although, I'm sure I'll see the answer a bunch of While times. While we're waiting, too, I guess if we want to, I brought in uh, a couple of turnarounds of some of the character designs that oh, Patrick yeah. had made. Yeah. Since we're already talking uh, about the poster yeah. enough, we want to pull those up. We have X-Ray and Vav, just kind of uh, showing a little bit of that, as well as their purple-haired female friend. Yeah! There we go. Look at that ass! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> well, you, Kim Kardashian! <laughs> Make sure the ass is visible, too. Nice. It's a, it's a substandard ass. And there's Gavin. <laughs> Gavin's is a little lackluster. Uh, are we going to add a mustache British. in now for <laughs> 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 Some God. Yeah. Uh, mystery character there. Okay, yes. I think I know what it is because a lot of people are. Bev's friend from the trailer, which you'll see more about soon enough. Yep. Make sure it's, it's that. Yeah. That's what you're getting, but that's the name of the achievement. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I guess, too, since we're about to wrap, is there anything else you guys wanted to add or... I know. I said it before we started, but thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm these, cry these guys or have been oh god. Okay. Yeah. Time, so thank you. Thank you, yeah. animators. Thank you. These are the heroes. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. I just go into a booth and talk for like an hour. These guys <laughs> do the hard <laughs> stuff. Just keep going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just some asshole that plays video games. So I guess uh, we'll finish up with one final question before we pick a winner. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to the fans seeing during the series the most? And that question is from Christina Nicole. Two first names, don't trust her. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. All the shots um, that they did. Oh, oh, X-Ray and Vav finally find a way to express their true love for each other. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful scene. Beautiful movie. Yeah. That's beautiful the movie. actual the end of the arc that we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Just, I don't know, I think, this, I think the story is really, really cool. I think everybody will like it. And uh, if you don't, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're entitled to your opinion, but you're wrong. No, no, I just hope they enjoy, uh, you, you know, they enjoy the show. It's, it's just... It's just surreal that this is like happening. I just so. think it's so cool that like we did Ruby and that was our first animated show and this is the second animated show we've ever done and it's such a different style. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I screw think the RTA thing. Yeah. We don't count that. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <Jenna. laughs> well, that's like kind of animated. I mean, it's called animated adventure, yeah, you know. so no it is good. animated. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jordan. Um. But no, I think like it has that classic Rooster Teeth humor, and I think people are gonna really dig it, and I'm excited for them to see it. It's a, uh, it's weekly, right? Or is it like bi-weekly yeah, episodes? Weekly. Okay. Yeah, the first four are gonna be weekly. Yeah. Okay. So you can tell I know everything about this show. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. 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 Next Thursday awesome. on, baby. Woohoo! Watch our show. Yeah, we'll be posting the exact times uh, through the main Rooster Teeth account here in just a little bit. So yeah. Did you, uh, did you mention or can you mention? Is it gonna be like? Like for Ruby, where it's out for sponsors first, and then on YouTube, or you can yeah, wait a week for yeah, YouTube. It, no, no, uh, as far as I know, it's going to be sponsors only, uh, and then by the end of the day, we'll okay. come out to the public. Couple hours away. Like yeah. The the exact pattern will go ahead and publicize here in a few days. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. I'm sure it's been said before, but I'm most excited to just you know show everyone what we've been working on, what these guys yeah. have been working mm -hmm. so hard on. We keep watching, and we can watch it in the office. I'll look up play blast from every week that they've been animating. Yeah. And go, oh my God, this is happening. This is real. So now I finally get to show people the final product. Like, Look, so look long in the making. <laughs> Again, it's all these guys. So we just yeah. Shout out. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourselves a pat on the back. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, so our winner of the poster <laughs> is... Do you want to say his name? Sure. Am I reading his real name? Or yeah, like, read his real name. Is Jacob Wolf with Jake an E. Wolf. 
He's the winner now. Does he win both of them or just one? Uh, just one. All right. Well, the the white poster over there. Okay. Uh, so that's at Wolf J Four. Congratulations. Uh, the Good answer was Halo Four Terminus. Oh. It was a Halo Four collectible video for the terminals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So congratulations. Uh, we'll do another poster giveaway maybe next week during the premiere. Works for me. So thanks for watching. I don't yeah. know if you guys want to add anything else in. Tune in Thank you, everybody who <laughs> worked on it. Please watch the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please, watch Please watch the show. The show. <laughs> show your family. Show your friends. Australia unless, uh, yeah. 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 I, I want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. thank you very much for making this a reality. Nope. Everyone here and everyone watching. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Bye. Catch you later. See you next week. Hey, Dylan. <laughs>